So you might be out there shopping to, you know, fish finders to figure out which one is right for you. And there's lots of choices, especially when it comes to technology and screen sizes. And one of the things I hear a lot of questions about is side imaging. Most everybody knows 2D sonar on down imaging and those sorts of things. But a lot of people still are looking to understand what side imaging is, number one, and is it even relevant or useful for you? So today I want to take you through a rock flat. I'm going to roll up on this rock flat. I'm in 14 feet there and I'm gonna come along this edge and I wanna show you some things that I'm seeing on this side imaging. I'm looking at a giant boulder field and just so that you know that we're doing this from above the water and on your fish finder, here, here's a test wave. Here's where I'm at, I'm rolling up on some boulders and I'm looking on the left hand side, there's kind of a ring of boulders that we just went by. There's almost like a horseshoe on that side. One, two, three, four, five boulders in a little horseshoe. It gives me that kind of incredible detail when I want to know what's underneath the water. Now, I'm wearing some pretty sweet, you know, sunglasses that cut the glare. The lenses are tinted right for this kind of, of light. And I can see under the water probably five, six, eight feet. But the question is, what happens when you need to find structure and, and cover in 15 or 20 feet? Well, that's where I rely on side imaging. I can look out away from the boat a good distance. And right now, I'm looking at a huge boulder field on my right. There was, you know, really nothing. And now there's a bunch of small boulders on the left-hand side, almost a little hump. We've just finished that there. I'm coming up on some larger boulders on the right-hand side. I'm coming up on a boat lift here too. I may need to, to take a left off of this rock reef. The side imaging here that I'm using now is a mega imaging and it operates at a higher frequency and gives a detail that I've never seen before in side imaging. And for me, that's important when you wanna find things like, that is a boat right there. I'm gonna go full screen on this one. Oh, you gotta check this out. That right there is a boat. So I'm gonna kinda just zoom in on that here. Watch this, look at that. That is the bow of that boat. And there's almost a divot there too. So actually I wanna put a waypoint on that one. You know what? There's not just one boat down there, there are two boats. That's incredible. I gotta go in neutral here. I don't, I've lost my map, but this is a place I'm gonna mark a waypoint on that one. And check this out. If I want to come by here in 15 and 20 feet and look at a boat as a waypoint or a fish holding piece of structure, see that's a man-made piece of structure. Things in nature don't look like that. Somebody sunk that boat either by accident or on purpose. It's a great place for fish to hang out. That is the kind of detail that you get on side imaging. So if you're wondering what technology is right for you, man, you can look overhead and see the detail that I showed you on the screen, plus finding stuff that you can't see with the naked eye. That is the kind of detail that you get with mega imaging. So when you're looking for stuff, side imaging is a huge help to cover water. And the drone has got all that. You can see every boulder. You can see that boat there. That's why I choose that higher frequency of mega. It gives you some incredible detail. That right there is a circle. That's a circle and that's a circle. So what somebody has done is they've rolled a bunch of tires out here as fish holding structure. That's the kind of stuff that doesn't get away from you when you're using mega imaging. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to steal their tires. I'm going to make a waypoint on that one. I'm going to make a waypoint on this one and then the third one. So when it comes time for me to check and see if fish are hanging out in 25 feet and on any kind of structure like that, those are three point waypoints where I'm going right there. And so, you know, with a touch screen, I can zoom in just like that, that fast and know that there is no doubt that's a truck and tractor tire. So you can find natural structure and even man-made structure, but the key is to find the things that you can't with your naked eye. Okay guys, I saw that boat, the sunken boat on the mega imaging. We're gonna come back over it. Now Kyle's got the underwater camera and I wanna show you what a boat looks like from underwater. It is clear as day. We're sitting right over the top. So can you it. see it? Oh yeah, right here, take a peek. That's the bow right there. That is the, that's the front of the boat. So man, we saw that on the aerial from the drone, saw it on the mega imaging, and now underwater. And man, if you're looking to figure out what technology is right for you, you can just look at that and know that the proof is right there. We'll drop the camera right into the boat. Any fish in there? No, nope. there's rocks in there. <laughs> <laughs>